What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, got some on my eyelash. Yeah, I'm going to show you all downtown Detroit, show you all the sports venues. So we got Lions, Tigers, no Bears unfortunately, but we got the Pistons downtown. So all three of our major sports teams, they recently got together down there, but they were scattered out before. I'll talk about that on the way there. So if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. I post in between videos when I'm not posting on YouTube. I'm over on Instagram, so check me out over there. Same name, Q the Chaotic. So, just giving you all a tour of Detroit once again. So, let's get ready to hop in the Camaro. Going to do a point of view down there. And then once we get down there, I'm going to do a little walking around wherever we can. So, come with me along on today's journey. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell, browse the channel. Let's jump into it. Apologize to the neighbors because it is early today and it's a holiday. Not only am I a fan of manual transmissions, my watch is manual too. Fully manual, no automatic. I even like manual firearms. You should see me with that, that gunpowder with, with my musket. Detroit 
eight mile just defies all the suburbs from Detroit. So our sports teams haven't seen much success in a while. The Pistons won the championship in like 89, 90. And in 2004, that was like our solo, that was our last city championship. The Red Wings too, oh my God, the Red Wings. I forgot about them, that's probably our most notarized team down here, but they, uh, they're they downtown too, the Joe Louis Arena. I don't even know if they're still playing there because I a couple videos ago I rode past it. It was a ton of construction, but I forgot all about the Red Wings. They got probably the richest history of all our teams. But um, yeah, I know they went to the World Series. The the Tigers did around 2006, and we lost. And <laughs> we had a couple legendary football players. We got uh, Barry Sanders who retired early because. Then we had Matt Stafford, who in his first year going over to the LA Rams won the championship. Detroit just, I don't know what it is about our sports scenes, man. We just not doing it. But yeah, he won the championship his first his first year out there. It kind of feels like a Detroit championship because he was our quarterback for years. And then we had Megatron, Calvin Johnson. Uh, he retired too. Saw him at a party. You don't want to know about that party. Retired very early. Like I feel like he still had more in the tank, but I don't know. I guess he football wasn't it anymore. It's a ghost town down here today. It ain't nobody out here. Only saw like two cars pass me. So uh, through all this fog, you can't even see it. But Ford Field is over to the right on the head there first and loop around to America Park. Then we'll hit up the Pistons last. Here is Comerica Park. So we got Ford Field to the left, Comerica Park on the right. Out somewhere I can park and walk. Ooh, damn. I actually used to work for all of these sports venues for a scoreboard company, and we got a story about that in a minute. But that's the office I used to enter as a as a employee, contractor, whatever you want to say. This building wasn't here when the last time I worked here. I haven't been over here in a while because I only. My employees take us to baseball games, and I, I really don't like baseball games. It's much more fun to watch in person than it is uh, on TV, though. Hang on to take a picture in front of the tiger right there. Police right there in another car. Oh my God. Scraping out the bottom of my car. About to come back around to that. So the Pistons is over there, Little Caesars Arena, right across those lights. So all three of them are like right at the same corner. Oh, that's the Q line. That's my train system. So the Q that Dan Gilbert owns, Quick and Loans Arena, and the Cleveland Cavaliers probably doesn't own that anymore. But they have a train that goes from downtown to midtown. And uh, yeah. I haven't actually seen it moving before because I don't come down here because I hate downtowns. Nowhere to park. Hate parking on the street. Parking is very expensive, but that's it right there. Oh, there's Little Caesars over there. Who can see the little piece of pizza, man? A few other things, like right at this location, we got the, the Opera House somewhere to the left. I could do another video to tour downtown. But let me get in front of those tigers because that would be a great thumbnail. Alright, this is the Opera House. This great building in front of us. Alright, let's park in front of these tigers and take this picture real quick. Right, in front of this tiger stadium right here. Got the bells of the church ringing. Little Caesars and all that back there. Fox Theater, like I was saying. But it's a nice venue here. Giant baseball bats going up and down. Some tiger eating the car. And tiger's up there. 
man, it sucks being your own photographer and videographer. I need a videographer, because I want to be in the pictures, too. Uh, at least the car gets to be in the pictures, and that's pretty cool. But let me head over to Ford Field. So I was able to get a good spot over here. Let me see if I can go over there and do the same thing. But this right here, Michigan and Trumbull, that's where the old Tiger Stadium used to be at. So paying homage to that. Let's, let's get a closer look up in here. For 5 0, come up on this. Yes. Can't really see up in there, but that's the feel. Those are some huge bats, man. This thing's got to be like 30, 40 feet tall. This tiger is like ginormous right here. Let's take a selfie. It's way bigger than me. I'm way down here. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next spot. What's the difference between no standing and no parking? I'm parking up, but not for long. So there we have Ford Field over there. And I used to work on that LED display when that was new. It had a bunch of water seepage at first, so you can see a lot of those signs just flickering a whole lot. But it looks like they finally got it together. So it was installed with the, <laughs> it was just poorly installed with no ceiling on it like that. The caulk was not there, so messed up the whole board, but they're good now. And that same company owned this core board, which this is the backside of it. And this is all LED now, but this used to be incandescent. So that store board, this core board is like over five stories tall. So to get up there, it's uh, where do I have to go to? So it's a stair rail over here, like a spiral staircase. You go up the spiral staircase, and then you have to like strap yourself onto a, a ladder that just goes straight up to like, the, the lowest level is like the third floor. So it's way up there. And there used to be over 100,000 incandescent bulbs. And my supervisor would sit in the box office over there somewhere. And there was a certain thing we used to do to the board. So it would map out all the coordinates of the board. He'll tell us which panel to go to and look for the bulbs that were out. We used to hand do this for 100,000 light bulbs in January to open up for the football or the baseball season. And that was grueling when it was zero degrees outside, had hand warmers. But it was cool. I got to meet a lot of famous people doing that. I met LeBron, Steph Curry before he got famous because they were at the... Uh, we got the NCAA tournament down here. Derrick Rose. I met Tayshawn Prince. A lot of people just because it's the scoreboard company as all these sports venues. You're going to run into somebody. And those are the people I personally met. Yeah, this, this is the backside of Comerica. And I guess you would assume this is the front side of Fort Field. This, this got to be the main entrance. This is the one that I would use if I were to come here as a normal ticket holder. But I haven't. Have I been to a game? I always get tickets. People give me tickets to go to these things, so I haven't paid for any tickets for any of these sports venues on my own pocket. So Comerica Park, that should explain to you my disdain towards incandescent bulbs. That's why I'm so hard on these cars. Like, how could they put incandescent bulbs in these things, knowing this, what year it is, knowing it's 2022? You made the conscious decision to put an incandescent bulb in there because it's archaic technology and LEDs aren't that much more expensive and they look nicer, last longer. Especially when you're paying $70,000 for a car. Give me the LEDs. And they spent so much money at uh, Comerica Park on the maintenance on those light bulbs that it was just cheaper to buy an LED bulb because that maintenance plan was, well, I can't talk numbers, but it was six to seven figures just to maintain that thing. So just get the new board, which, which has way less maintenance might just change out a ribbon cable as opposed to individual bulbs those circuit boards like it was just all old but the people wanted to go with the old school look the classic look but hey man when you got bills to pay they ain't cutting it you gotta step into the 21st century all right little caesar's arena so that's where our biggest concerts are going to be at Sorry. also had women's basketball but they got moved to uh, Oklahoma the Tulsa City Shock it used to be the Detroit Shock 
but they uh yeah they're no longer here with us and i went to the championship game one year in like 2008 2009 they got pushed out of their stadium because they were at the Palace of Auburn Hills. They got pushed out of their stadium for Disney on ice. So I know a lot of people talk about uh, the WNBA basketball players don't get uh, equal pay. But those crowds need to show up. Like, you got to show up. Like, put your money where your mouth is. I walked into a championship game for free. I didn't pay anything. I just walked in for free. So here we are from the, I don't even know what view this is. I can't even find a place to park close around here without paying. Not about to do that today. And it will be a long walk. Let me try to get it for y'all though. Let me see. But it's not much to see around here. This is kind of it. A lot of bars and stuff to see. I done went around the whole block. Cannot even get close to where I want to be. Donnell Jones. Yellow. This is about as close as I could get without paying for parking. So, whatever this is, is under construction. And that too, no idea what that's gonna be. I'm looking good right there. They built down, they built up a lot around here. Fun fact, on the other side of the stadium, when I used to work for the city of Detroit, the water department, I was, uh, they were giving people incentives to move down there, like $20,000 to move in the city of Detroit. I wasn't about that at the time because the services were messed up. It wasn't a good time to be here. And I just hate downtown, period, just on that alone. But uh, $20,000 incentive, $80,000 condos on the other side of that. Those things are now going for three, four, five hundred $500,000, million-dollar condos right across the street. That could have been me. I could have been somewhere on the beach. But now I'm here working, doing YouTube. All right, we done, we done made it now. Chevrolet Plaza. All right, here we go. This thing is a giant dome, as all sports venues are. And across the street, that's where the that church was dinging those bells. And Ford Field, you can see the sign behind it. Comerica Park is in front of Ford Field. Somebody down here by my car. Let me go. Oh, that's cool. Got the thing going on the ground. Thought they was about to come mess with me. But yeah, that's our three sports venues, minus the Joe Lewis Arena, because it's not even over here. It's probably 10 minutes away from here, but it's still downtown. But that's the Lions, Tigers, No Bears, and Pistons. All these new venues, Comerica Park is the oldest, Fort Field, and then this is only like three, four years old. So very nice in this area now. At one point, not too far ago, it didn't used to be, but it's a good hangout spot. You could see like people were out here jogging. That was not a thing not that long ago. So uh, things have definitely changed down here. It's much safer. As you can see, there's a lot of police down here and they keep a lot of police down here for a good reason. But people feel comfortable. I just don't like downtowns personally. Too many people, lack of parking, parking on streets if I have to and paying for par parking lots, that's that ain't my thing, but for some people, they love it. They're down here every weekend. I'm never down here. Stay as far away from here as I can. Traffic, nah. But I don't want to sound like an old grumpy bastard. So that's cute. Checking out. Hope you enjoyed a little glimpse of the city once again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out. Shout out to the person in front of me at Starbucks. They paid for my meal. Got a big breakfast, too. They probably was going to hate to see that. But, yeah, that's good looking out. Now I'm over here at McDonald's. But it happened so fast, I forgot to pay for it behind me. So, whoops. Since that happened, I'm over here all smiling on the inside, feeling all good. I want to do something nice for somebody else. But, yeah, let me let me get out here and be charitable, man. That was that was the nicest thing somebody's ever done that random like that. Never had anybody pay for something for me. That was a big order at Starbucks too. I bought food for my whole family. But yeah, that's man. It give me some hope in this world. Not to say that the world is a bad place. The world is what you make of it. But that was a very nice thing. I'm about to be thinking about that all morning.